Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I am an independent wear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. Make sure to check in the description below where you will find links on how to get my patterns to knit for yourself, how to join me on the Watch Barbara Knit Facebook group, and how to support me on Patreon. Also in the description below will be a link to where you can get what I'm getting ready to talk about and information on how you can get a discount on what I'm getting ready to talk about. And I'm pretty darn excited. This is something that I haven't been able to talk about for like over a year. And it's been something I've had to be quiet about. And it's just one of those, well, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's Star Wars Knitting the Galaxy. This is the official Star Wars knitting book, which just the fact that it exists would be enough for me to get incredibly excited about it because I'm a huge Star Wars, Star Trek, Star Everything, Dune, science fiction nerd, okay? But even more exciting and the reason why i've had to be quiet is because <gasps> there's a pattern by the barbara benson in here i i put a tag on it so i could show you look i have a design in here look so i'm right on top of the microphone i might have to figure out how to make it a little quiet sorry about that look 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 i'm so excited so this is my pattern and I am so excited. This is the TIE Fighter Hat and Fingerless Mitt set, okay? And it was so exciting. I was asked to propose something and I proposed things and this is what they picked out. The idea behind it, and I'm holding it back a little bit, is I wanted it to look like Fair Isle. I wanted it to, if you saw it kind of across the room or at a distance, you would just think, hey, that's a cute Fair Isle hat. But then when you get close up, it's tiny top fighters. Look at that. They're so cute. Now, the other thing is, is y'all know I don't do Fair Isle. I want it to look like Fair Isle, but I don't do stranded knitting. So this is actually using a slip stitch technique. So you're knitting stripes and slipping stitches. Look at that. So it's so cute. I'm so happy with them. Um, the yarn was amazing. This is Kim Dye's yarn is the name of the dyer. And it is a beautiful yarn. It is a, um, it's called Philo Sock, F-I-L-O Sock. And it's 80% superwash wool, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon, 400 yards per skein. You have to have to the, the two skeins, the two different colors. And, um, the cashmere is really important because when you're doing slip stitch color work like this, when you get it wet, when you block it, you want that to bloom and kind of make everything blend together. So the stitch definition isn't so crisp that you can't see the color work pattern. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look, and I made an, I made a pom-pom, pom-pom, love pom-poms, but that is my pattern. So, okay, I had to get that now. So here's the thing. Um, this is an amazing book. It is the official book. You can see here it says Disney, Lucasfilm, all those fun things. And it was the idea in Brainchild. And a lot of the designs in it are from Tannis Gray. She also did the Harry Potter one, which is great. And we are going to go through this book. If you haven't ever seen one of my uh, book looks, I like to go through and show every single pattern. Uh, some of them I'll just flip by just so you can see it. Some of them I'll talk about a little bit about why I'm so excited about them. Um, so that you can make a decision, make a, a wise decision about whether or not you want to purchase this book. I always, always, always encourage you, if you have a local yarn store and it's in your budget, to purchase your knitting books from a local yarn store. Um, I will link to a good yarn, which is my local yarn store. I know they have it, but if it's, if it's in your budget, do that. Cause we always need to support our local yarn stores. Now, 
if you are not particularly able or if you need the internet, I actually have will have a link in the description below. Let me go and make sure. And what it is, is the link will take you to um, where you can purchase it. It's a referral length and I will receive a commission. I wanna be upfront about that. Uh, since I refer you, I will get a commission. But in addition, I have a 25% off code for you. It is duck, D-U-C-K 25. I will put it up here so you can see it. So if you use the link below for the referral and use the coupon code, you can get it if you need to buy it online for 25% off. So all of that information up front. Let's look at the book. I'm so excited. So there are 28 patterns in this book and they are broken up into uh, several different categories. There's a toy category because you have to have toys. There's a costume replica category, which are actual, like we're attempting to knit something that looks like something that was in one of the movies. And now when I speak of one of the movies, this book, the, the, the prompt that was given to us designers was we are looking at the movie, the three trilogies, this true, the, the Skywalker saga. So it, um, like things like Rogue One or um, the, the Han Solo movie, Solo, or even this is pre Mandalorian. So this is just the, the three base trilogies are what we're looking at here. Um, then the largest category is inspired apparel. And what that is, is it's just stuff that you can wear to fly your Star Wars pride flag. And then there's a home decor category, which you didn't know you needed Star Wars home decor, but you do. So here we go. So toys look Chewbacca. He's so cute. He's a baby Chewbacca. And then look, Porg. You got to knit a Porg or six or 12 Porgs. They are super adorable. They are in worsted weight yarn, so it's going to be super easy. And this, since this is the official one, there are behind the scenes and there are pictures from the movies. And it's just really cute. Crazy little Porg. Um, this is interesting. The Porg's cries were a mixture of the calls of turkeys, doves, and chickens. Oh, I didn't know that. Then we c you can make yourself... A pocket Yoda. Do do. Let's see here. There we go. So this is Yoda. He look how his face. Oh my gosh, his face is so cute. You can make yourself a tiny Yoda. This is not baby Yoda. This is old man Yoda. Just very small. I bet you could riff on it to make yourself. But there's the Chewy. There's Chewbacca. He is adorable. I love him. I love his little bandolier. Look at that. He's got little stripes and a little pouch. So cute. And I just, man. So this is so. I don't know if you know, being the giant nerd I am, the actor inside of Chewbacca, his name in the originals was uh, Peter Mayhew. And I actually met him several times at different science fiction conventions. And he was the nicest man. And he was an incredibly tall man. But as with a lot of incredibly tall people, as he got older, he started having difficulties and someone actually made him a cane. He walked with a cane, but his cane was shaped like a lightsaber, which is was super duper cool. But his cane was like almost as tall as me. So that was fun. I, one of the best things I ever saw him do at Dragon Con was he taught Taught. It was an early morning class and uh, thing, and he was teaching little kids how to fight with a lightsaber. And he was just super fun. Um, I love. I, I I've been to a lot of science fiction conventions. <laughs> this this I might have to knit. This is actually knit in Miss Barb's Miss Bab's yummy, and also Estralita, which means it has sparkle in it. You can knit your own Death Star. Oh, sweet. And let me see, there's a picture of it in context here someplace. Well, we'll get to it. There, It's a good sized thing. Um, it says it's finished diameter is 14 inches. The finished circumference is 44 inches. So you can knit yourself your own like beach ball size. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Oh, here we go. I told you there was one that showed it in, there we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. So it is a good size pillow. 
that you can have. It is amazing. Now, the costume replicas you can make, and this would, you know, I can't see any context in wearing this normally, but if you're making a Halloween costume, this would be awesome. It's Luke Skywalker's flight vest. Um, you know, based on his flight vest. And then we've got this one I can see wearing. Princess Leia's Hoth snow vest. Look at that. I can totally see wearing that when it's like cool outside and it's going to be really subtle. You can be like, I'm a total geek, but only other geeks are going to know. And wait a minute, what sizes does this come in? We need that information. So extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, two extra large, three extra large, and four extra large. So that is big thumbs up for you, Tannis, for expanding that size range. Um, and this one, the next one goes from triple two X extra, extra small to five XL. So they really put the effort into making it inclusive. And this is Ray's vests and arm wrap from the last trilogy. That is so cool. I loved that outfit that she wore and it's got some amazing detail in it. I like it. It's got a tiny little Pico turned hem. There is the whole shebang boop, boop. I'm gonna hold still for a second so you can see because there's a lot of detail there and that is based on look at the shoulder isn't that cool and that is based on her outfit I think it's from the last Jedi very cool all this is very cool and this one when I was um when I was brainstorming to make my proposals, this one was definitely on my list, but I wasn't really sure how to tackle it. And I'm glad someone else, someone, uh, Tristan Molina figured out how to tackle this one. The, this is the Padme battle wrap. And here, this looks super duper warm and cool and cool you know <laughs> and look it looks like it goes around the neck and i think this is a really interesting piece and i'm sure it's going to be a lot of knitting so here is so here so it's got a head hole right here and so you're just knitting a huge rectangle that your head sticks through i think it's really cool and i might actually knit it I think it, it's like a scarf that you can stick your head through. Now, those were just, as I said, it's only a few that they were actually trying to replicate something from the movies. This is the inspired apparel, and I love this. This quote, do or do not, there is no try. You're totally going to do this. Here we have the Order of the Jedi pullover. This is going to be stranded knitting, but I love the little Yoda heads and the symbols. It's a great top. If not for the Yoda heads, I really think it'd be super subtle, but everybody's going to get that. Um, here, you can see, and it's got great charts. Then we've got an Ewok hood. Look how cute that is. You know that fox hood was going around? That fox hood is cute, but wouldn't you rather be an Ewok? <laughs> That is super fun. Here it is on an adorable child. 100% do want that. Here is the Starfighter scarf. Super cute. Let me see if there's here. That shows the whole run. So it looks like we've got the Millennium Falcon. And it looks like we got the side view of a TIE Fighter. And we definitely have a, TIE fight, a double TIE Fighter. Probably an X-Wing and a Y-Wing. It's very, very cool. This one is going to be, again, stranded. Uh, yes, definitely going to be stranded. Lots of charts. These, you know, other than my own, <laughs> these are probably my favorite things. I adore these. Lightsaber socks. How cool. Okay, A, knitting knee-high socks is just one of the most, like, epic moves there is in knitting. But these socks are absolutely rocking. I love them. And you know, you don't have to knit them in pink. You could choose your own lightsaber color. You mean you might be Ahsoka and, knit, Ahsoka and knit them in white or, you know, any other color you want. And then mine, we already looked at. 
and I want to show you real quick the charts. The charts, there's not a whole lot. So really, you can do it. If you can knit stripes and slip stitches, you can knit these. We have the Millennium Falcon Cowl. Look at that. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it makes me so... It just... Have you... Oh, let me tell you. We went to Disney and got to ride the Millennium Falcon ride. It was awesome. Oh my goodness. Loved it. It's got great charts. We have a Galaxy Far, Far Away Mittens, which love, love the color work on this. You've got the classic Luke Skywalker pose from the original poster, and you've got At-Ats, and you've got C-3PO. It's just beautiful, beautiful work. And I love the fact that the mittens aren't, they don't match. They're obviously thematically uh, grouped, but it's not like you're knitting the same mitten twice. They've got lots of great stuff. And I think that's R2-D2 on the thumb. That is amazing. Or maybe you are knitting the same when we're just seeing the front and the back. Let me double check on that. No, it's got a ton, ton. Oh my goodness. This is, no, it is two completely. Okay, so C3PO is on the palm of both of them, but there are two different fronts. Look at this. Look at that Darth Vader with the Death Star and a Tauntaun. It's just, this is epic. This is an epic pair of mitts. Ah, amazing. Then we have the Chancellor Palpatine scarf. So here is the picture. And this is the scarf that was inspired by it. So this is going to be super, super subtle. This is one of those that only you are going to know that this is a Star Wars thing. But you can be happy in your secret, just like you were a secret Sith. It's a nice looking scarf, too. Love it. What is this? This is in a cotton merino. That's cool. Um, let's see here. This one is absolutely gorgeous. So this is the General Leah Organa pullover. I'm going to show you the inspiration photo, right? And then this, look at this neckline. That is an absolutely beautiful neckline on a sweater. I mean, it's just pretty, period. But the fact that you know that when you wear this sweater, you are paying tribute to General Leah Organa it's just makes puts me into my happy place i don't know about you so this is what the whole piece looks like but the detail it's all about the neckline on this again extra small small medium large extra large two extra large three extra large four extra large five extra large six extra large and seven extra large so anybody can make this and it can fit anybody um it doesn't look like it has a lot of like chest shaping so you know i bet even a guy could wear this um looks fairly straightforward look at all see look at this look at this chart look how many sizes this schematic has on it that is the sign of an amazing book the color is just gorgeous though i want you to see it again ah love it we've got anakin's infinity cowl so I think, okay, so this one is super subtle. If you look very carefully on Anakin, you can see there's patterning on that cowl, what he's wearing underneath. And this is the inspiration and the regular. So that is cool. Another color work piece. My boss is gonna make these for her grandkid. And I think I need them in my size too, Yoda mitt. They're just fantastic. These are sized uh, 0 to 1 year, 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8, 8 to 12. Um, hmm, I wonder if I could wear 12 years old. i got kind of small hands. I might give it a try. And these were done in vintage, which is the perfect yarn for anything for kids. Vintage is 52% acrylic, 40% wool, 20% nylon, and they are almost bulletproof. So look, how cute. How cute is that? Okay, how long is this video getting? You know these videos. Oh, and I love, I love that they showed it. Look at this little girl. So cute. And she's using the force. You know it. And this. So this is the Rebel Alliance Shawl by Susanna IC. There you go. Straight up. Nothing subtle about that. I 
can you see it's got the rebel alliance symbol my glare is pretty bad it's got the rebel alliance symbol in beads isn't that cool with beautiful beautiful lace as always that's all you expect for susanna i see and this is the shape how big it is it's big big more mittens because you just don't get enough color work mittens and these are beep boop beep boop beep boop this is r2d2 and it is just straight up r2d2 on a pair of mittens and lucasfilm has put their stamp of approval on this one hmm are you going to get brighter again i keep on holding the book up and my uh webcam keeps trying to adjust the light for me so that's why it's doing funky things we have wookie socks so look if you look carefully you can see that there are wookie faces <laughs> isn't that fun so that is cool love wookies just love all things star wars this one and I love that they show this with the Death Star pillow. Look, Darth Vader pullover. There's nothing subtle about this one. This is straight up Darth Vader. So, and I am fine 100% with that. And these are cool. These are sort of like the Wookiee feet in that they're the face. Look, Darth Maul mittens. Isn't that, ah. The, the genius here, this is Therese Sharp. The, the, the creativity here is just amazing. You can see really well there that you've got, it's not just symmetrical, it is very, very interesting. Um, we have a clone trooper hat here. Another color work piece where you've got the clone troopers. So we have run the full gamut of the movies. And then for our home decor, we all know a kid who probably needs a BB-8 throw blanket. Well, all of us nerds do. And then this, this I love. Throw pillows, C-3PO, R2-D2. And these are by Tannis Gray, who there's several in here by her. She is an amazing designer, but also just the all of the stuff involved in putting a book I cannot even imagine what's involved in putting a book together like this now I've looked on Ravelry and I think that this is quite possibly the pattern that has the most likes on it the villainous mini sweater ornaments aren't they crazy I want to make these little tiny sweaters actually I kind of want to make one of these little sweaters and put it on one of my Star Wars my Star Trek dolls so i have like the larger star trek dolls and i think a, one of my star trek figures with star wars sweater on would be hilarious <laughs> but yeah aren't those great I like boba fat and we got darth maul and they are so cute here it is that shows you what the size is so they're tiny little sweaters you put tiny little sweaters on and they show they're showing them as ornaments but I can think of any number of other things to do with it so they have a glossary we've got cast-ons increases duplicate stretch intarsia short rows stranded corduroys three mattress stitch all the amazing kinds of information that you're going to need to successfully execute the patterns in this book here I want to show you this picture see that kid in the back he's got my hat on whoop, whoop, whoop. where are we there we go so that is Star Wars Knitting the Galaxy by Tannis Gray. Um, again, there will be links in the description below where you can get uh, information on 25% off, uh, where you can buy it from a local yarn store and where you can buy it online. And I hope you are, whoop, focus, excited about this as I am, um, I sent the finished pieces in well over a year ago but books take time and just in case you're wondering i know people um i get questions occasionally about the things on the shelves behind me and they don't change that much but they do but one of the things i don't know if any of y'all have noticed i know my uh my kitties are very popular but up here behind snape and my miyazaki figurines we have these little guys right because i'm serious and these have been here forever you can go back and look at old videos 
these are, oh, this is Emperor Palpatine. This is Grand Moff Tarkin. And this is Count Dooku. And I just thought it was hilarious that they had these adorable little stuffed animals with these cranky, cranky faces of the bad guys from Star Wars. So, and really, a stuffed Grand Moff Tarkin? I mean, what more do you need? Look, he's got his little thing. So, uh, when I say I am a huge Star Wars Star Trek, I, I'm a big sci-fi fan. And so, the opportunity to be in this book I was just, I mean, I was, I was thrilled to simply be able to submit, to write up my proposal and draw and go through ideas and send it. And the crazy thing is I sent it in and somebody at Lucasfilm looked at it. Something I wrote, somebody at Lucasfilm looked at and considered. And frankly, at that point, just that someone considered it would have been that it was on somebody's desk at <laughs> Lucasfilm was amazing to me. And that I got a piece in just made me beyond happy. So I hope you enjoyed this look into Star Wars, Knitting the Galaxy. <laughs> um, and if it is up your creek, if it is something that you are interested in, get yourself a copy um you might even be able to find it at a library or ask them about it so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up click that like button and if you would like to be notified whenever i upload a new video please subscribe to my channel and select notifications thank you so much